Welcome to Philly Capital Market Watch. I am Ming Wei, a Philly specialist from Philly Investor Center, Topayo. Today, we will dive into a topic that resonates far beyond China's border, the Chinese scamming industry. As a global powerhouse, China has recently implemented and then unexpectedly removed strict rules and a curbing spending on video games. Thank you for joining me in this episode. As we explore the speculative reason behind this sudden change and its potential ripple effects on the international gaming stage. Let's start by exploring the recent turbulence in the Chinese gaming industry. In a series of regulatory proposals, the authorities sought to restrict the gaming in landscape by introducing measures to limit both time and money spent on gaming activities. The repercussions were swift and profound. We proposed rules including spending limits for online games, a ban on daily lock-in rewards, and the prohibitions of lucky draw features for minors. Pop up warning against irrational playing behavior were also on the agenda. Investor, cost of guards, react with concerns, leading to a significant drop in share price for gaming giants. Like Tencent, the largest Chinese gaming company, and it is. Even Bilibili, a social media site that is heavily reliant on gaming revenue, experienced a decline in share price. Tencent, specifically, witnessed a 12.4% share price decline, and the regulations had a broader impact causing a more than 4% drop in the Hang Seng Tech Index. However, a surprising turn of events unfolded when China's gaming regulator removed the proposed drug roof from its website. This move led to a surge in gaming company share, with Tencent and NetEase seeing a positive momentum. The initial proposed rule, which has caused market turmoil, had wiped nearly $80 billion US dollars in market value from these gaming giants. Analysts suggest that the removal is unusual and may indicate potential revisions to the rules. Article 17 and 18, addressing mandatory player versus player combat and spending limits, are considered contentious and could be removed or modified. The government shift to a more conciliatory tone, expressing a commitment to improvement based on public view, follow earlier concerns and a reported removal of a gaming regulatory official link to the rule. Analysts also predict a potential removal of the contested article, highlighting the government efforts to raising negative reactions and label the proposal as negotiable. This surprising turns of events prompts a crucial questions. What could have prompted such a swift change of course? Let's uncover what might have led to the unexpected reversal by the Chinese regulators. One possible reason could be economic considerations. The significant losses in the market value for major tech companies, particularly Tencent and NetEase, raised concerns about the broader economic impact on China's gaming industry. These economic dimensions likely play a crucial role in influencing the decisions to the revisit and potentially modify the rules. Given the significant contributions of the gaming sectors to China's economic landscape, Another influencing factor could be the public backlash and pressure exerted by the gaming industry. As reported by China Central Television CCTV, the authority acknowledged concerns and opinions raised by all parties. This implied widespread feedback from the public, gaming industry, and investors. The unexpected and strong negative reactions to the proposed rule may have played a pivotal role in prompting regulators to reconsider and potentially revise them, highlighting the influential power of collective feedback in shaping regulatory decisions. Consider China's evolving regulatory approach as a contributing factor, the authority might be exploring different strategies to balance the cultural impact of video game while addressing concerns about additions. The removal of the proposed rule could be part of the broader plan to find a more nuanced and adaptive solutions to regulate the gaming industry effectively. Furthermore, International relations and competitions with other gaming markets could also play a role. The international impact on the share of US and European game developers cannot be ignored. The regulator may have considered the global implications, recognizing the interconnected natures of the gaming industry, and aim to maintain competitiveness in the international gaming market. This speculative insight shed light on the nuanced dynamic that might have influenced the surprising reversal of the proposed gaming rules by the Chinese regulator. As we conclude these explorations into the surprising reversal by China, it is crucial to recognize the speculative nature of the insight we have discussed. The unexpected removal of proposed gaming rules has ignited discussion around the globe. The sudden change in China's gaming regulatory landscape gives us a spark of hope, as it suggests that the Chinese government might be in the process of reviewing and reassessing regulations announced previously. There is a possibility that economic considerations may lead to a loosening or removal of certain rules, benefiting sectors within the economy 
As a regulatory landscape continues to evolve, only time will reveal the true motivations behind these decisions. That's all for Philly Capital Market Watch. Do remember to like and follow us on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Leave your comments. Thanks for joining us and see you soon.